Okay, we're gonna do the first test of this thousand watt xenon short arc lamp. Um, I've got it all cobbled together here just for the test run and eventually this will be built into a searchlight housing or something like that. So we've got the lamp here, it's an Osram 1000 watt arc lamp XBO series and uh, one side of it is connected to this welding clamp and that goes over to uh, to the welding machine over here and the other side goes to uh, this uh, kind of improv transformer here to get the starting pulse so with the welder off if I run the starting circuit you can see a pulse of light going across the, the arc in the lamp. So that's the starting pulse and that's probably about 20 or 30 thousand volts. And we get that from this transformer and this other little circuit that I'll post on my website here with the um, automotive ignition coil. <clears throat> For a while I was using a uh, 555 timer circuit to uh, pulse the coil but the circuit kept dying because of the RF coupling and all the inductive kickback. So I found another plan to, that uses a, just a plain old house dimmer and a, a motor start capacitor and you can plug this thing right into the wall. <laughs> uh, so fewer components and these things don't die as easily. All right, let's fire it up. So the, the welder is a TIG welder, but right now it's just set on uh, stick weld and the current is controlled by a foot pedal see the foot pedal there. So I'm going to put on some goggles here because this thing's going to get pretty bright. And uh, see what we get. There we go. So I had to step on the foot pedal uh, to get the, the arc to light and running at about 50 amps right now. Uh, the, the lamp gets brighter and brighter. It'll probably take a full minute to warm up, but I don't want to run it for that long because uh, I just have that little fan in front and it really needs a better housing to uh, ensure there's cooling air going across it. Let me play with the camera shutter and see if you can actually get a better look at this thing. So that's uh, the shortest shutter this camera will do, a four, four thousandth of a second. And as you can see, it's pretty darn bright. I can feel the heat on my, on my face all the way from out here. And this is running at about five amps or something, whatever the minimum is on the welder. You can kind of easily control the thing up and down with the foot pedal. Okay, I'm going to shut it off. As you can see, the, uh, the anode <laughs> gets pretty hot in normal operation there. Alright, the next video, hopefully this thing will be built into a searchlight.